This is Dolany TV, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon. I didn't think I'd speak to you again before game time. However, you know what? Fast and Furious kind of the way the news cycle works right now with it being playoffs. The whole COVID-19 thing still being a reality. And of course, well, you know what? It's just the rest of the whole world going spinning around. You got to know that things are going to pop up. Things are going to happen as you get set for game two. And one of those things, my friends, ooh, what am I doing there? See, mm, live, hot, hot edits, hot edits. Anyway, make sure to hit that subscribe button so as you can tune into the stream this evening. And I will post the stream link in the comments section here in a few moments after you guys see this video. Uh, the Oilers have assigned forward Kirill Maximov to the KHL's CSK Moscow for the 2021 season. This according to, of course, Daniel Nugent Bowman of The Athletic. And ladies and gentlemen, this is no surprise, right? This is absolutely something we all keep seeing coming. This is what teams with their young European prospects are doing. They're making sure they've got a place to hopefully play come September, October when things get underway because the AHL is looking at getting things going in December which would mean, based on our prospects not having played since mid-March, that is one heck of a layoff. Nine months without hockey, yes, probably you'd have a two-week training camp, so you'd be looking mid-November for them to actually hit the ice and return. So it's a better strategy to get them playing hockey somewhere else in the world where hopefully they've got a little bit more under control than the United States do as well. That That's probably a very, very big factor in all this for a lot of NHL teams in that perspective of COVID-19. So Kirill Maximov off to the KHL. Let's get some uh, stats on Kirill Maximov. Do you want that? Yeah, I think you're... You're all either here for Krill Maximov stats or something. I don't know. Maybe I can find those for you. Let me go over to HockeyDB and just run you down a couple of stats. He had 13 points in 53 games played with the Bakersfield Condors this season. A total of 34 penalty minutes and a minus 4 rating. Krill Maximov throughout his years on HockeyDB dating back to 15-16. One with the Niagara Ice Dogs has had a minus 10 rating and a minus 8 rating. Saginaw Spirit back in the OHL in 15-16. So, of course, he's an OHL prospect that we've developed from 5th round, 146th overall, to looking to be very promising coming up the pipeline, at least in terms of creating that buzz slowly. Kind of like that, uh, how would you say, Caleb Jones, Ethan Bear did throughout their junior careers and then into the Bakersfield system. Kind of think just one tier below that is what I'm thinking Krill Maximov is in terms of creating buzz in the Oilers NHL system. So guys, that's that's really all your news. There's not much to really digest here other than the Oilers have, for a fact, they will be playing Krill Maximov in the C uh, CSK Moscow system. Probably come September, October, whenever the KHL fires up. I still haven't heard a concrete date. But what I do need you to do right now one more time. You've only been with me for three and a half minutes, so you can listen to it one more time. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like on today's video, and make sure to scroll down to the comments. Whether it be on mobile, you have to tap into the comments, or whether it be on your desktop, just scroll down and get your stream link saved because we're gonna party you know what last stream was awful last stream was probably the worst stream I've ever had to suffer through just based on a 6-2 game going into the third period and the Oilers looking absolutely garbage for 10 minutes of that third period and of course it was the first 10 minutes so I just ran out of excuses that's at what point when you're down 6-2 do you run out of things to say I found that point so hopefully not that tonight of course Miko Koskinen starts for our Edmonton Oilers Lineups still haven't been released, and it'll be interesting to see if that Drymoto Hopkins dynamite line is back together. Guys, I'm Tyson, this Stolen TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will catch you in uh, the next one.